In this video we have covered a summary of the world's greatest civil engineers of all time. Isambard Kingdom Brunel 1806-1859 A British engineer, well known for his innovative and visionary designs in rail transport and maritime engineering. Principality of Isambard known as an inventive and creative professional in civil engineering history one of the 19th century engineering titans and one of the highest stature of the Industrial Revolution. The first intent-built transatlantic steamship was among the many steamships and infrastructure that Brunel constructed. He also created the Great Western Railway GWR, dockyards, and a series of steamships. Public transportation and engineering both benefited greatly from his innovations. While working as an engineer, Brunel made a number of groundbreaking advances. He helped construct the first tunnel under Thame River, and he conceived and constructed the first propeller-driven, marine ship the SS Great Britain. The Box Tunnel, at 3.2 kilometers in length, was built alongside new bridges and viaducts, both of which were extremely costly to build. In a 2002 BBC survey ranking the 100 Greatest Britons, Brunel came in at number 2. Gustave Eiffel 1832-1923 French engineer who designed the iconic Eiffel Tower in Paris and several other structures, including the internal structure of the Statue of Liberty in New York. The Eiffel Tower in Paris is named after Gustave Eiffel, the French civil engineer, whose complete name was Alexander Gustave Eiffel. Eiffel started his career in the metal construction in 1855, after graduating from the College of Art and Manufacturing, and he is best known for his bridge designs. In 1858, he oversaw the construction of a bridge in Bordeaux. In 1877, he built a steel arch bridge over the Douro River in Oporto, Portugal with a span of 525 feet 160 meters. He then built the Gerbet Viaduct over the Truer River in France with a span of 540 feet 162 meters. When constructing bridges, he pioneered the use of compressed air caissons. He planned the formation of the Statue of Liberty which was finally placed in New York Harbor. When Eiffel completed the Eiffel Tower in 1887-1889, he shocked the world and earned the moniker Magician of Iron he used the tower to conduct several tests, all of which piqued his interest in aerodynamics. The first aeronautical laboratory was constructed by him at O'Toole, outside of Paris, and he worked there throughout World War I in 1921, he donated the facility to the French government. John Smeaton 1724-1792 a British civil engineer, well known for his work in the field of hydrodynamics and as the father of civil engineering. The English engineer John Smeaton, born June 8, 1724 in Osthorpe, Yorkshire, England, died October 28, 1792 in Osthorpe is widely regarded as the father of the modern field of civil engineering in Britain. He is also famous for building the first lighthouse in the United Kingdom, which was an all-masonry structure on Eddystone Reef off the coast of Plymouth, Devon. The year 1754 marked a watershed moment in Smeaton's career. He had traveled to the Low Countries to investigate harbors, canals and mills. By using dovetailed blocks of the Portland Stone, he constructed the third Eddy Stone Lighthouse between 1756 and 1759. This method eventually became the norm for lighthouses and other buildings located in areas subject to high waves. In addition to completing the harbor at Ramsgate, Kent and constructing bridges in Perth, Banff and Coldstream, Scotland, Smeaton created a route between the Atlantic and the North Sea by constructing the Forth and Clyde Canal in Scotland. Julius Adams Stratton 1901 to 1994. American electrical engineer and educator who made significant contributions to the field of microwave engineering. A US-based electrical engineer and academic administrator, Julius Adam Stratton was born on May 18, 1901 and passed away on June 22, 1994. He spent one year at the University of Washington, where he joined the Zeta Psi Society, before transferring to MIT, where he earned a bachelor's degree and a master's degree in electrical engineering. The Technist Hochschule at Zurich, Switzerland, granted him a Doctor of Science. In 1950, Stratton was accepted into the National Academy of Sciences and in 1956, he was inducted into the American Philosophical Society. After holding several lower-level positions at the Institute, including Director, Vice President, and Chancellor 1956, he became President from 1959 to 1966. The Julius Adams Stratton Student Building at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, 
MIT is named after him. Ove Arp, 1895 to 1988. Danish engineer, well known for his innovative designs in the field of structural engineering and his work on many landmark structures, including the Sydney Opera House. Having joined the Danish company Christiani and Nielsen in Hamburg in 1922, Ove Arup was promoted to the position of chief engineer in the London branch in December 1923. On the seafront of the nearby Essex coastal resort of Canvey Island, he created the Labworth Cafe with built-in shelters. There is a cafe, which is the only structure in existence that Arup developed from scratch. Afterwards he became a structural expert for the Tecton Partnership, where he worked on projects like the Wixnade Zoo and Penguin Pool at London's Regent's Park Zoo as a supervisor. Arup's close connection with Bergold Lubakin, Tecton's senior partner, was crucial to the success of both men's careers. He and one of his cousins Aaron established the engineering and construction company Arup and Arup Limited in 1938. George Washington Gale Ferris Jr. 1859-1896 American engineer who designed the original Ferris wheel for World's Columbian Exhibition in Chicago, USA. He graduated as civil engineer from Rensselaer Polytechnic College in Troy, New York in 1881. At the beginning of his career, Ferris worked in the railroad business because he was enthusiastic about constructing bridges. It was in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, that he established GWG Ferris & Co. to conduct quality assurance testing and inspections on metals used in the construction of railways and bridges. Joseph Strauss, 1870-1938 American civil engineer and bridge builder, well known for the construction of the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. Joseph Beierman Strauss was a structural engineer who pioneered the modern Bascule Bridge was born on January 9, 1870, and died on May 16, 1938. Construction of the Golden Gate Bridge was led by him as its principal engineer. He was born into a creative German-Jewish household in Cincinnati, Ohio. After studying civil engineering at the University of Cincinnati, he earned his degree in 1892. On the San Francisco, besides the bridge, you can find his monument. Forest Lawn Memorial Gardens in Glendale is where he was laid to rest. Thomas Telford 1757-1834 Scottish civil engineer and architect, well known for his road, bridge, and canal building projects in Britain. An apprentice mason at first, he relocated to Edinburgh in 1780 and then to London two years later to work at Somerset House. In 1787, he was given the position of Surveyor of Public Works, Shropshire, and he also became the Ellesmere Canal's architect. The results of these surveys and plans to improve harbours are among the records of burgess and public bodies kept by many Scottish archives. Numerous canals, bridges, harbours, temples, and mansions were constructed by him. His most famous works include the Dean Bridge in Edinburgh, the Menai Suspension Bridge in North Wales, and Caledonian Canal. Sir Mokshagundam Visvaria, 1861-1962 Indian engineer and statesman, well known for his contributions to the fields of irrigation, water supply, and flood protection in India. The 15th of September, Visvaria's birthday is observed as Engineers' Day in Sri Lanka, India and Tanzania because of his prominence as a civil engineer in those countries. After serving as a construction engineer for British India, Visvaria was given the honorary title of Sai and was awarded KSI in due time. In 1955, the government of India honored him with the Bharata Ratna. Michael Collins Purse 1806-1869 Irish civil engineer who designed the first public water supply systems in Ireland and England. Collins earned his Bachelor of Engineering degree B from the University of Canterbury, New Zealand and his Doctor of Philosophy PhD from the University of New South Wales, Australia. Professor Collins along with other colleagues at the University of Toronto created the compression field theory and its subsequent modification, which provide a rational foundation for the sheer design, and have garnered international acclaim. I hope this video provide you great information about world's greatest civil engineers. Please feel free to like comment and share.